Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have, uh, actually this is the last day, uh, the last video of the day and yeah, my brain kinda is melting a little bit because of so many videos but still, <laughs> let's keep it going so let's thank all of our members and let's do a very quick video actually because I didn't actually, we are flying out the MiG-23BN which is the new addition of the German Tech 3 uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about it, but to be honest, just to like uh, an advisor, I didn't get the most quality gameplay uh, because the matchmaking are matchmaking. It's just weird right now. Uh, a lot of SU25s and stuff like that, so the teams are very unreliable, very weird. You know how patch uh, day and you know second third day. I mean, it's probably going to be like this for a week or so. So yeah, uh, so make sure to subscribe and yeah. So we are going to talk a little bit about the MiG-23BN. So a lot of people got scared of this aircraft being added, actually, because most people don't actually know what it is. Uh, it is a MiG-23, okay? So it's the precursor of the MiG-27, okay? As a ground attacker. It is an aircraft that is based, obviously, it's the same fuselage, same wings, same everything as the MiG-23M. Uh, Basically, it's be based on the MiG-23M, okay? Uh, but it doesn't have the radar. That's the main difference to the MiG-23M. Uh, is that the, the, the it doesn't have a radar, and instead of that, it has a laser rangefinder no on the nose. You know, it is not a laser designator. It was not strong enough to actually designate a target, meaning that it was just calculating the amount of bullet drop of the weapon. So every time I say this, but yeah, um, the way that aircraft know where the, the missile or anything like that will hit the ground is actually range finding to the ground so um, at a like a, a live kind of a live calculation it's not like the range finder that we see in in the in the tanks you know and as you see the Su-25 is just a very strong aircraft but yeah basically it is um, a way to detect the distance between your aircraft and the ground and with that you can calculate uh, the bullet drop so it has the CIP it doesn't have the CRP apparently so it has the CIP for bombs rockets and cannons uh, and you can use it to ground attack so it is a very good ground attacker it's as I said the precursor of the MiG-27 is not as advanced as the, the MiG-27 obviously uh, but it is uh, the first modification with it. The main difference that you will feel uh, beyond the payloads and the PR and stuff like that, the aircraft itself, it is the same aircraft as a MiG-23M, okay? Same, same engine, same intake, same everything, but without the radar and the different nose, okay? So it's a little bit lighter. Uh, so it is a very good dogfighter, as you see. Uh, but it is uh, just that, okay? It's not... Uh, the MiG-27 has many modifications to it including the engine which is a different engine including the intake which is a different intake uh, um, simpler one uh, and especially uh, the nose obviously that it has a laser designator uh, but also the uh, obviously the cockpit that is different to, to use stuff like that but the main difference uh, in game is the cannon okay the cannon is not the GSH-30 okay dash 6 it's the GSH uh, 23-2 so it's the same gun that we already seen on MiG 21s, MiG 23s, uh, aircraft like that it is the same 23 millimeter that we always have but uh, remember it's a more closer aircraft to the MiG 23M than to the MiG 27 okay uh, so just keep that in mind if you are wondering okay so yeah Pretty pretty good aircraft, uh, 9.7 BR. It's amazing at dogfights at this BR. Has its problems, okay, but it's it's still a very very good aircraft. Uh, it is a MiG-23. What else can I say? You know, um, it has its problems on its payloads. So uh, it doesn't have any IR missiles. So it is not a very good fighter, okay. It's not like the MiG-27M or MiG-27K. It does only have dumb bombs, dumb rockets, and gun pods. Uh, Zabs, obviously, napalm, stuff like that, but still, this is the main armament of the aircraft. It's just a cannon. Uh, it doesn't have laser guided stuff. As I said, the, the, the uh, laser range finder was not strong enough to produce a laser beam that could actually um, make, the, make the designation of a target for a laser guided missile, you know. So, 
yeah, it doesn't have any laser guided stuff, it doesn't have a TV inside it, so it doesn't have any TV guided stuff as well, and it doesn't have any IR missiles, so like any. But to be honest, it's alright because it is a 9.7 aircraft, and it is supposed to be a 9.7 aircraft, it's supposed to be an early attacker, okay? It's not supposed to be, I mean. I really don't know if the Germans actually used a missile in this, obviously it could, because the pylons are the same as the MiG-23, so it could use the R-60, it could use the R-13 or the, the R-3S, you know, but it is just a matter of if the Germans actually use, used with it, or if even it was considered to be used. I think it was, probably, but they, I think they are not adding the missiles to properly have kind of a lower BR attacker, okay? So this would be a bridge between uh, the IL-28s and stuff like that, the G91s and stuff like that, and the, or even the mix, you know, to the Su-22, you know? So it is a proper BR to have it in, in it, even if it doesn't have any, um, any of the, uh, you know, the, the the weaponry that I told you about, okay? So, yeah, uh, as you can see here on the screen, uh, we have two camouflages, so we have the normal one that we already seen, and we have a um, uh, West German one, or not West German, but a uh, reunified uh, Germany one, uh, very similar to the normal MiG-23 camo, uh, but with the designations of the Luftwaffe, so pretty interesting, and yeah, it's just a very, very fun aircraft. I, I'm still to actually test it out in a dogfight, but I think it's going to be very, very good, maybe even better. I have to test it out the power of the engine, but as you see on the left side there, I'm using the War Thunder real-time information overlay program that I have a video about. Check it out. I know your guy, guys are going to ask for it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, but it's producing a lot of power. I mean, 125... Um, kilonewtons at I mean Mach 0.9 something so very very strong engine uh, you remember the the engine on the MiG 27s they can be a little bit less powerful sometimes because they are simpler engines they are made not for high altitude but for low altitude obviously because it is an aircraft that is flying low normally but this is a MiG 23 modified okay they, they named the aircraft later as the MiG-27 when it got the other modifications but it is uh, basically that okay so it is a very interesting aircraft I'm still waiting to see m more skins for it to be honest I really wanted the the Cuban skin which is a very cool one uh, and it was a very widely exported aircraft for ground attack because uh, the MiG-27K was the most advanced version of the, these variants of aircraft and it was normally used only by the USSR and after that they had the MiG-27M which was also exported for some countries and it was a simpler version of the K so even though in game we have the K first uh, as the, in the tech tree, I mean the M first in the tech tree uh, the M actually came later because it was a simplified version of the K you know so the K was the most expensive one and stuff like that, it was uh, 200 of them built and it was even obviously uh, more uh, expensive and more uh, capable than the Su-25 actually. So yeah, these aircraft uh, had obviously always had uh, export variants and uh, even though the MiG-23BN was used by the Soviet Union I initially, after that the, it was just kind of in small numbers because they changed it for the MiG-27 um, because of that it was a very good aircraft for exporting uh, for outside of the packed uh, kind of situation of, of selling stuff you know so it was less effective and less uh, costly and um, expensive you know and less uh, complex uh, as uh, f than the, the, the MiG-27s okay so and I said okay a lot of times this video I mean, too many videos, but yeah, a very amazing aircraft, and as you see, a pretty good one as well, pretty interesting. So I hope you enjoyed, and I see you guys on the next one. Bye guys, see you.